Hey, back again, box number two. Still packing, just did one. We're doing two this cycle of recording. All right, <clears throat> trying to get rid of all my winter stuff is the goal here. Stuff that I've sourced and personal stuff. This I think, Adrian Vintadini. I think I actually got this from Costco. We'll see how that goes. That was part of my personal collection, but got sick of it. I'm just gonna send it in. Okay. This is from Banana Republic, but it's got the three dots underneath on the tag. So I believe that's probably f factory, but it is, is it wool? I think it probably is because I usually don't pick up factory. Mm. I don't see it. Machine wash, cold blow, fabric, da -da -da, nylon. I don't know. I just like that it was long, I guess. I do think it's got wool to it though. It's got a hoodie, it's long, cardigan, just sweater weather comfy, right? Oh, that takes up a third of the box. Um, I'm gonna send this big fat boy to, it's Pendleton. I believe I sent this and they sent it back. It probably needs a quick sweater shave. Let me see how this reacts to the sweater shaver. Oh yeah, the sweater shaver likes this. It's grabbing all kinds of fuzz. Let me just shave it a little here and we'll pop her in the box. I wonder if Pendleton's considered vintage for them. I know they're current still. But maybe if it has an older look, they're not into sending it. Here, let me show you what I'm doing. If I can tilt the camera. Whoop. There we go. careful of doing anything by Goo Gone and Coffee. Do as I say, not as I do, right? Uh, let's see. Let's go like this. Yeah, this is gonna look way better. Just hitting it with the sweater shaver really quick. That. Make sure it's flat because sometimes you can ruin something sweater shading too quickly or not on a flat surface. Sometimes it'll just take a whole chunk or a hole out of whatever, whatever it is. I need a garbage can over here, guys. Okay. Okay. Already a million times less fuzzy. Hold on, the side's got it though, right on the crease. This, oop, this looks really fuzzy, like where the arms go down. Probably got rubbed a little too much by swinging arms. a little better than it did and let's do this side real quick here here's the before you see all that we'll get a lot of it off it'll still look a little bit fuzzy but it should get a lot of this off good enough is what we need doesn't need to be perfect but it needs to be good enough if somebody really wanted to go at this with an actual blade They could really get this off, but this is kind of a training wheel sh sweater shaver. The guard's pretty good on this one. 
Ah, it's dead. Good enough. It got a lot of it off. So that one I need to plug into a micro USB. Pendleton. Somebody might know if that's a vintage tag. <laughs> Taller than I think it, a whole whopping five too. All right. So, all right, we're going to, this is a Pendleton sweater. We're going to send that in the box. Did not have a price tag on it, so I think this was a return that I'm trying to resubmit. Okay. Yeah, these are all mine. So all of these are cost of goods, zero. These are, this I think I picked up previously at a thrift store. It's fun for a while around the house PJs during quarantine. Now I'm sick of looking at it. So I will send this in. This came out of my own personal closet. Again, I really just don't wear blazers at all anymore. So I had these little slots in the back. I think I wore it to training for work once. But when you work for yourself, you don't really have to go to training no more. So I can do whatever I want to do as far as what I want to wear when I do this stuff. And usually I opt for comfort. Um, this was, I believe, a TJ Maxx find from my personal collection, uh, Carolyn Taylor. This is all stuff that I would never personally pick to send in to thread up, but it's stuff I'm trying to get rid of, so. Depending what's in this box, I may or may not even get return assurance on this one. So far, I don't see anything really awesome worth getting back. I wanted to do a little experiment. This is a little Givenchy. Like a little accessory scarf. We're gonna put it in there. It's teeny. I don't know what anybody would do with this. It's more like an ascot. We'll see. I'm gonna put it in there, see if they take it. If not, maybe they'll send it back. <clears throat> this is a Jessica Simpson denim chambray top that's got like flowers embroidered into it. Maybe I would have picked something like this up at the bins. Maybe, probably not. Uh, uh, last box in the bag, you guys. Oh, no, we're not. There's the other one. Ah, there's another one. This is the last box, though. Again, this is for my personal collection from when I used to binge on my Victoria's Secret credit card. Now I have no debt thanks to reselling, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, with this box, if I don't see any, like, big selling items, big ticket items... I might not get return assurance on this. Because to add expedited shipping, return assurance is only $10.99, but if you add the expedited shipping, you're at like $26 per box, you need to at least make that in payouts for the box to even pay for itself. And that doesn't even cover cost of goods. So if I get like donations from family or donations from friends, sometimes I will send in a box that I don't pay for return assurance or um, uh, expedited shipping, just because it makes sense. You gotta know what's in your box, right? Um, this is an Express Design Studio blazer. Please, people, be starting for shopping for new work clothes. I have a lot of them I need to sell. I did hear something about the job market being at its lowest unemployment rate since the pandemic, so that's good news. This is uh, Simply Vera, which I think is like a Kohl's Vera Wang brand. This is kind of nice, though. It's linen, and it has a little, like, ruffle at the bottom. I used to wear that to work when I dress up for work. A lot of this stuff is mine. Um, this is really cute. Foxy Doxy. This is a brand new dress and it, it looks vintage, although it's not. It's a current style. Oop. This is really cute. It's pleated with ruffles at the bottom. Uh, brand new, still in the bag. So we'll send that in. I'm curious to see how ThreadUp um, evaluates that. Didn't do so well on, on Poshmark for me. I think I had tried to get, it was like B&H or something. I can't remember who it was, B and C, I can't remember. I bought like a box of new with tag wholesale stuff. 
Okay, ASOS US size 8. These are black velvet pants. Tis the season, right? Heavy stuff does not do well in summer and spring, so we're gonna put it in the winter box this time and see if it sells. None of this stuff has cost of goods, so my average cost of goods is like 660, so I'm just gonna log all of this at my average if it doesn't have a tag on it. Um, Ellie Tahari, I believe I got these from the bins a long time ago. They have been accepted once, they're size four. They didn't go. Yeah, this box is, I'm probably not gonna pay for expedited or return insurance. I don't think I have any expedited left. Um, this is Sparrow, extra small. I believe Sparrow is like either Urban Outfitter or Anthro. Just an orange sweater. I think it's safe to say everything in here probably had an average cost of goods if it was bought for around five or six bucks. BCBG Max Azria. This has been sent a few times. It's brown with blue pinstriping. If it's not photographed really well, you might not be able to see that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want any of this stuff back. Oh, this should be decent. It's an Ellie Tahari dress if it sells. Ellie Tahari and BCBG Generation and Max Azria are like hit or miss brands. Sometimes they are like, oops, surprise, it did really well. And other times it's like, yeah, this has been sitting for a long time. Uh, I'm gonna pull this for, for Thrilling K-Swiss. I don't know if that's vintage enough. Probably not, that's more like Y2K stuff. Let me send it in. I'll send it in to, does it have a size? It says medium. I'll send it in to uh, thread up. I don't know if that's enough vintage -y. That might have been like after 2000. Ugh. Eddie Bauer, extra small. I never want to see this sweater again. It photographs and it looks green. It looks good in this light. It's just tan. It's a cute sweater, but my Poshmark photos look awful and I've just been too lazy to reshoot it. And it's just Eddie Bauer, so I will send her in. Um, these are really nice shoes. Anything Cole Haan with the Nike Air symbol. I don't know if you've worn those, but when I used to stand hours on end on trade show floors on cement, I had a pair of like just black heels and they were awesome, super comfy. These were brand new, so at a thrift store. So I'm gonna try to send these in, thread up. Uh, $59, Bass and Company. I think I picked that up for like a buck at a garage sale and it's new with tags, but it can't seem to sell anywhere. It's cute, somebody should find it mine. And then this is Athleta. Um, it does have a red line through Athleta, so we'll see if they take it. If they send it back, I'll know that's why. And it's just like a long athletic stretchy jacket. Some of the comps on this were really good and some weren't. So it's one of those weird brands on Poshmark. And it's hard to photograph. It'll probably do better on a mannequin. This shirt is so cute. I'd keep it. It's kind of cut like this one, but it's like a sheer linen. Kaylee 22, I don't even know what that is. I don't know why I bought this shit. This was early on in my reselling journey, clearly. This was from Target, it's called All In Motion. People are familiar with this brand, but this is not gonna like net high dollars at all. But it is new with tags, so I will send it in. Okay, and the final bag. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. <laughs> this is probably not all gonna fit in this box either. Okay, let's see. We're gonna get selective. Ann Taylor with two dots. I think that's, what are these? Ariat, okay, I'm gonna send these in. Ariat seems to do well. $6.99 was the price tag. Those came from a resale store in Colorado, I think this spring, Ariat jeans. Anything Ariat does pretty good for me on Poshmark or ThreadUp. So we'll take the path of least resistance and go ThreadUp. It's 33 regular, $6.99, another pair of Ariat jeans. These 
don't sell, I won't be sad because I know they'll sell on Poshmark. Every single thing Ariad I put on Poshmark does really well. Okay, these are Clarks. I'm gonna put some shoes in here that could save this this box really. Um, Clarks, they're still new with the tags. They look orthotic too. Uh, cushion with giant mapping is what it says, but they're new. I'm gonna put these in here. All right, what else? There's a bunch of shoes. There's a pair of coach shoes in here. These could save this box and actually make it profitable or at least may it pay for itself, and then some. These are kind of like an espadrille shoe. This is more of a summer situation, so we'll put them in, but they might be coming back. Now I might have to pay the $10 for the return insurance. Uh, these are Uggs. I want these back if they don't sell. Um, does it have the size on the shoe? In the shoe? Yes, it does. Where are my scissors at? I want to cut this tag from the thrift store. It said 15 bucks, size nine. They're like a little ugg loafer. They're in good shape. Um, let's see, what are these? Noir, oh, the tag got cut. I'm gonna have to list these on Poshmark. They won't take stuff without the tag, even though, oh, but it does say, Black House White Market on the back. This could be a fun experiment. Uh, Goodwill Medium is what the tag said. It didn't have a price. I'm sure they were like six or seven bucks. It does say Black House or White House Black Market on the pocket. So hopefully they catch that and don't say, oh, it doesn't have a tag. It does have a size tag. Um, where is the other Kate Spade loafer? Oh, these need to be cleaned. I'm gonna put these aside, but those are Kate Spade loafers. What is this? I got some jeans. That's probably why these are so heavy. J brand jeans, $6.99. If this is in Colorado, I did not get any sale prices. This is actually what I paid for these items. J brand jeans, I don't think I've done so well, so we'll see. I might just be asking too much for them. Um, BKE jeans do pretty good from what I heard. They say $8. They're new with tags. Are they new with tags? No, but it does have a new tag on the back, so maybe they are. Maybe they'll brand them as new with tags. BKE jean from Buckle. Yeah, this box, you guys, is pretty damn full. These I have to wait on because there's a paint stain. I'm probably gonna just donate those. What are these? Oh, Everlane, but they're white. Maybe I'll wait for spring on those. What else is in here? Eddie Bauer, new with tags. Doesn't say what I paid for them, does it? These might've been from an estate sale. I did go estate sailing in Colorado send these in. Legs, slim, boyfriend, fit. Does it say what size? Zero. These are a size zero. They're soft. I don't think jeans have done totally awesome. These are Red Tab Levi. I'm gonna send those in. Button fly. I don't think these were thrift store. I do think these were, they do have kind of like a little hole in the knee, but I think it's supposed to be that way. So hopefully they still get taken. If not, I think they'll do well on Posh. Just don't want to have to list, right? These are those Ann Taylor pants. Oh, a different pair of Ann Taylor pants. Oh, another pair of silver jeans. These I paid $8.99 for. So I'm gonna put these in this box. These jeans are literally taller than me. They are touching the floor right now. You can't see if they come up to there on me. These are the Ico baby boot, 32 waist, 37 length for a tall ass chick. Not me. Okay, what else? 
else is in here? Lots of shoes. This is where it's all shoes at this point. Birkenstocks, I don't think have, oh, it does say size 36. Let's throw them in and see if they sell. They're Burks. They are off season, but we'll see. They're Burks, so people tend to go crazy for them, I guess. Um, these are Sam Edelman booties. Uh, looks like they said $5, so I must have got these from a garage sale. Or should I say a state sale? I'm using the stick to take off the residue. They're suede, so I cannot hit those with goo gone. There, I got most of it gone. I can't see it anymore. Sending these. Uh, what else is in here? I'm gonna wait till summer on these bad boys. Maybe wait till summer on these. These have gotten returned. They were sent to thread up once. Um, I don't know, these are like athletic cleats or something. I don't know if they'll take those. Hmm. What else can I fit in here? Oh, I wanna send these. Hold on, these are Eileen Fisher. Six and a half. Oh, I think these were sent back to me or maybe they never got sent in. 15 bucks I paid for these. I think that looks like an estate sale tag. That was probably an estate sale. Um, let me cut the tie that ties them together. Okay. These are like little leather, really soft leather slingbacks. So they're kind of out of season, but like winter in Vegas or Florida or California, they'd work. So I'm going to send them. Yeah, now I do want to pay return assurance to get some of this back. I do, you guys are asking, oh, do you adjust your prices? I do eject them up to the max. So that's how <clears throat> I can afford to let some of the items go. As long as some of the items pay astro astronomically well. Um, I'm going to try these, see if they take these from the cleats. My mailman is going to hate me. What are these? These need to get work done. They need to be goo gone at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna send these into Morel. Those are, I don't know if you can see there, the brands over here. They're like a hiking boot. Tis the season, right, for hiking. The weather's cool, it's not super hot. I'm gonna send those. I'm just gonna hold off on these shoes that we said already, and I'm gonna try to get these Asics and these other Asics in. These I think I picked up in another estate sale. So those are gonna be size, they're in really good condition. Size eight, those are eights and it was an estate sale. They're all probably eights. Seven and a half for these. So Asics are going in and then that is the end of the box. Everything else needs work or washed or something. Um, let me see here. If I can happen to squeeze those two Aunt Taylor pants in, I will do it. Let's see what the deal is with these. Okay. Oh, $9.49 I paid. What's wrong? Hopefully I did that on sale day and got them for half the price. I think I did. <clears throat> All right. And Taylor in black. Mm, these were $6.99, probably half off. These were from Savers. Yeah, Ann Taylor Modern Size 12. I think I bought these for me and I didn't like how they fit, but we'll see. I have a weird body type. Um, hold on, let me rearrange this. This box doesn't look like it's going to close the way it's packed. Completely. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I really want to get these Kate Spade shoes in there. Uh, see what Thread Up does to me. I'm going to try to send as much of this as I can. I want the Kate Spade shoes in and these Everlanes I am going to put in. They were $8.99. They're white. Let me try to put them underneath something so they don't get dirty. Let's see. Kate Spade. Ugh. There's like gum or some shit on these shoes. I hate that. Ugh. I only grabbed them because they were Kate Spade. $14.99 was probably half off. Goodwill. Ugh, where's my dirty job brag? <laughs> so gross. You know, it's a choice you have to make when you're reselling. Do I want to deal with this gob of whatever at the bottom of my shoe or not? 
at least it's just gum and it's not something grosser because there is something grosser. And I've dealt with that too, depending what brand they are. You may or may not pick them up. And definitely wash your hands when you're done. Oh man, and of course they gotta be a pain in the ass and not come off. I hate when thrift stores right on the bottom of shoes. You gotta like really put your ass into it, right? Uh, uh, all right, pretty much gone now. Can't see what they were asking. And if you choose to, you can try to clean them up more. Did you see how dirty those were on the back? Gugon is like the miracle cleaner. It's like the ultimate shoe makeover. <laughs> looking a lot better now. I can see it in the camera. <laughs> trying to see if it lightens up at all. Yep, a lot. It looks a lot better. Okay, so there's that one. These are Keds. It's a Keds, Keds um, Kate Spade collab. Be really careful too, like after you goog on a shoe, if you just throw it in there, if you throw it on leather or wool, it's oil based, so that stuff will like, it'll like stick to whatever it touches. So be careful. I'm, I'm gonna put them in like this where they're not touching anything important. Okay, here's the gross one. <laughs> Barf. I feel like I should be on that TV show, Dirty Jobs, right now. Okay, this is gonna need a lot of goo gone to get whatever the F that is off. <clears throat> I would recommend wearing gloves. Again, do as I say, not as I do. Oh, it's coming off, whatever it is. It might just be dirt. Gross. So like something gnarly, like whatever that chunk of whatever it is, I just got it off with some scissors. I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, it was chunky and stiff, whatever it was. I am not touching it. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you see the table, it's gross. I will show you the after though. Yeah, pretty damn good. Again, I'm a lazy reseller, minimal work. But if somebody donated Kate Spade heads, I will for sure scoop them up. Oh, way better. Like I said, Gugan is a miracle worker, right? These are going in. Okay. There's that. Well, while I'm at it, my postman is going to hate me. These were just like a demo shoe, I think, or maybe I wore them once. I think I bought them for me and didn't like how they fit. Uh, alrighty. Got the proof of goodwill off the bottom. My Gugan face is like my computer face. Let's get all serious. Okay, that's it. These are Steve Madden's. These are going in too. Oh, I might need to put some things from the, this box in the other box actually, because this box is hella full. I think I'm gonna put these in the first box. Alrighty, and that concludes all the shit Randy needs to send the thread up. Thank you for watching and I will see you for box number 20 will be the next video. Ooh, that's exciting.